Let's talk to Richard Tice, uh, leader of Reform UK. Um, you didn't watch it, surely, Richard? We wouldn't be allowed to. Of course not. Good evening, gentlemen. Of course I didn't watch Hi. it. It's the, one of the last thing in the world I'd want to watch. But maybe, here's the thing, maybe if um, uh, they'd given us more points in the last sort of 10 years, maybe actually we wouldn't have voted to leave the European Union if we'd won the wretched thing a few very, more times. Very good People point. might have been a bit nicer. But, good point. Uh, I'm, really? I, I'm just, of course. Uh, um, no, uh, I don't watch it. It's not my gig. But the real question, surely, is uh, actually who's, who's funding this thing? Uh, and it turns mm. out, doesn't it, that we're one of the main funders for the Eurovision Song Contest, which now actually is basically a global song contest when you've got the likes mm. of Australia involved. And so, sure enough, it turns out, yes, we're funding it, and it's not a commercial sponsor or anything funding it. No, no, no. It's you, James, yeah. you, Ash, yeah. all your listeners, my good self. It's yeah. us, the taxpayers. The licence payers. That are helping to fund this thing. So we're coughing up all the dough, and we're getting a little quiet. And you end up thinking, where are we getting? On, what, how are we paying for this, Richard? The BBC do, don't they? Very simple, James. Because the BBC is uh, provides a significant amount of the funding, and we're all obviously we we pay for the BBC. So it turns out that, the, and it's very interesting. This the last data is as to exactly how much the BBC paid was eight years ago. Now, you and I, we all like to know what. Where's the money going? Let's have some transparency about this. And I'm very suspicious that if they haven't been honest about how much it's costing for eight years, yeah. maybe that's because they're funding it to the tune of one, two, three million quid. Who knows? Yeah. But I think you should be de demanding uh, live on air that the BBC, they're bound to have someone listening, uh, that they show some some integrity, some transparency. Well, show us some you mean show us some statements? We can't trust them. Just, 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 just a minute, Ash, Richard, just a moment. Let's do this, all right? Um, I'm not sure whether anybody from the BBC is listening because they're also really boring people. I don't think they'd enjoy it. But if they are, then I'm, I'm not demanding from you. I'm flipping well going to have it because as a, a person who funds the BBC, I am therefore a shareholder, and I'm demanding to know... Over the last 10 years, let's make it a round figure, the last 10 years, yep. how much you wasted on the Eurovision Song Contest. So here we are. And my uh, producer, uh, William, is uh, is it William? I think it is William tonight. Uh, no, it's not, is it? Is it? It's Who Tom. is it? It's Tom. Yeah, it is William. Is it Tom? Yeah. Um, Sam. Okay. Um, Sam. Yeah. Well, whoever it is, anyway. <laughs> uh, can we... Yeah, I know it's Tom. Can we get on to the uh, the BBC tomorrow and can we ask nicely and if they say no comment or if they get all snotty like they sometimes do, say, um, well, I'm sorry, but, you know, we're all licence fee payers, some of us, and uh, we would like to know how much money has been spent on yeah. the Eurovision Song Contest. Now, I know a lot of people have Eurovision parties and everything, but more or less to take the mick out of it. So I think this would just go a long way to defund the BBC. We're paying money to get humiliated. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just not, it's not good business, it's is it? My I mean, it's just set, the, set the dog and off now. Look, each to their own, but it's just not something the BBC should be doing on behalf, mm. wasting our taxpayers' cash. If some company or some, uh, you know, um, commercially paid broadcaster wants to do it, good luck to them, each to their own, uh, you know, freedom of choice. But mm. it's just not appropriate or right that the BBC should be blowing all of our cash on something like mm. uh, this song contest. And I, I, you know, I think this it's just symptomatic. And when you see, you might say oh, a million quid, it's not that much uh, amongst their whatever it is, one and a half billion pound budget or whatever. Mm. But actually, you know, it, it, if you look after the pennies, the pounds look after themselves. And if you, you know, where you see and smell waste, in my experience, hmm. then it pervades the whole organisation, and that's what we know the BBC is like. And I oh. suspect there's a real reason why they haven't been honest about this number, um, because they're trying to cover it up. And of course, of course we sadly see recently.
they've got quite a good track record. I've got a statement, actually, when they, there was a Freedom of Information request in 2018, and they replied, the information you've requested is excluded from the Act because it is held for the purposes of journalism, art or literature. The BBC is therefore not obliged to provide this information to you and will not be doing so on this occasion. There we are. It's outrageous. Well, I'm, not, there we are. I'm not obliged that, 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 that anymore. That proves my point. I'm not obliged to pay the license anymore. Not paying it anymore. It's a, it's another Lock cover me up. up. It's another waste. It's an utter outrage. It's another treating and us with contempt. It's appalling. Completely. It's appalling. And and it just absolutely stinks. And what that proves, that response alone, proves that contrary that to all just the appalling. patter you hear from the BBC, yeah. they haven't learned the lesson at all. They've got no humility, no integrity. Mm. They're just quite happy uh, to waste our money and to try and perpetuate their woke, liberal left, metropolitan agenda on uh, the good people of this country. And it's time it's got to stop and we've got to make a stand. Well, Richard, as a, a, the leader of uh, a political party, can't you uh, just call up the uh, director general yeah. um, and ask to have a meeting and then find yeah. out and then come and tell us and we'll tell everybody well, it else. It must be part of Reform uh, UK well, to reform as, the BBC. It is, it, is, yeah. it is absolutely very much part of our reform agenda is we've got to reform the BBC, uh, amongst many other things. And you're absolutely right. Uh, another fine suggestion, James, and I shall do exactly that. I shall phone his office and I'm sure I'll get a, um, a, a meeting in, uh, in, in rapid order. But um, it's, you know, it's just not acceptable. And, hmm. you know, they have there's no excuse not to be honest about this. Um, and look, I mean, if, I don't if I'm think... wrong, if I'm wrong and they will admit it and you'll apologise. Yeah, fine. so would I. Which they wouldn't. Apologise they never will if apologize. we're wrong. Yeah. But how how well, can any publicly funded organisation refuse to give information like that? It's not as if we we're asking, can you give us your secret plans and the people you've got yeah. in uh, in various Middle Eastern countries? Because know. you know we'd like it's we're not asking security, anything. Is it? Yeah. Not uh, nothing like that. How much money are you putting into the Eurovision Song Contest where we never really it, they don't want us in it? To be quite honest, I have to be fair. The song was sh shocking. Um, and uh, the singer was too fat, in my opinion, really, to be on there and wore the most atrocious jacket I've ever seen. Uh, well, so fat people are good singers. Fat people make good yeah, singers. Yeah, but he was, he was fat in the wrong way. You know, you can be fat in the right way. Or Have you, you ever seen fat a fat person that can't sing? You never actually, if you think about it, it's never, they've you always can't got... sing. I can. Go on, well, all, 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 all I know is, like is that I'm, I'm probably, most people would say I'm a thin person. What I do know is, I cannot sing. There you, you know, go. If, if anybody listens I to me sing, my they will leg it. Yeah. Mind <laughs> you, Wales the exception in the room, isn't it? Are you the you exception? Because you can't I don't sing. sing. Yeah. No. So, so it's not true. <laughs> well, I mean, um, anyway, it's just it's just an inappropriate use of of our cash. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. We, we, we just need some integrity and some transparency. Yeah. And uh, um, I think people are so, sick of it. And we, we, it's, it's time we reformed this woeful organisation. You get in touch with them tomorrow. We will get in touch with them tomorrow. And let's see if we can find out. We want to know over the last 10 years how much money was spent. And I, listen, I think we should have a, a non-commercially funded broadcasting organisation. And it can be called the BBC. But it doesn't need to be what it is now. Like it's got its commercial arm. It's You know, all that. And they moan they have no money. They pay their management ridiculously. Ridiculous amounts of money. Yeah. Um, I the do pensions. I mean, the, the pensions yeah, that they get. The they? BBC should yeah. be actually running local radio um, news services because that's not really a commercial product. But what they do is they have rubbish local radio stations where they play rubbish music with people who are not really. In and that, just imagine. You know, it's just, go on. Just imagine, James. You touched earlier about Gary Lineker's 1.5 million salary. I think it's 1.75. Sure, they've been five. much better. To engage, to engage the three of us, they would get three times the value on match of the day if we did that. Well, I've got a better... I, 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 listen to my theory, right? If you put a chimpanzee in Gary Lineker's place, you'd actually get more watchers because everyone watches it for the football. But you'd also get the people who wanted to just see a chimpanzee and Alan Shearer and uh, whoever else is there looking mm. terrified. And you'd actually get a bigger audience than, uh, than just Gary Lineker on his own. You just talked us no. out of, you know, you know I'm going to go and do the uh, Good Morning Britain because it said it in the mirror the other day. Oh, so oh yeah, you're going to present true. it, aren't you? You're going to be the new yeah, Piers yeah, that's Morgan. What, apparently in the mirror, yeah. yeah so yeah. I'm going to have to find time. We've got my talk radio show 
and then I've got Good Morning Britain, and then oh. now we're going to do Match of the Day. But I don't yeah. know anything about football. Does that matter? Not really. No, that's not why you got the pundits there. That's why you got the pundits. You know what it's saying, James? Um, uh, if you need a job doing, give it to a busy person, and that's why you'd be able to squeeze it into your diary, no problem at all. And you know, you'd make it up as you go along. You know, it's a round ball; it bobbles around the yeah. pitch. Yeah. You can generally see the two different colours. It's fine. It around, you know, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll we'll create a bit of entertainment. Stick it in the old onion bag, and that's it. That's all you need to know. What? Exactly. Right. Okay. Well, I'm sure you two know about it, and then I can just throw in the uh, the little bits of ambience as we go. Um, Richard, on a more serious note, I really do think we need to know how much uh, of um, public money is being wasted on the Eurovision Song Contest. There will be one of the other channels, many channels, that will pick it up, and they'll probably do quite well because all those people who actually enjoy it will That's pay true, yeah. whatever it is a fiver or a tenner to watch it on the night, and that's the way it should be, surely. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic, and yeah. and good luck to them, and, and I hope that's a very profitable enterprise. But you know that's yeah. <laughs> that then responds to, to customer demand. Yeah. It's just not not what you know taxpayers' cash should be used mm. for. It's as it's as simple as that. Yeah. And sure enough, you can bet as, as sure as eggs are eggs. You know, if the UK pulled out of funding it, then uh, I think it, th th they might be back with a different deal. Mm. Richard, good to talk. Thank you very much, Richard Tice. A leader of Reform UK. Nice wallpaper, by the way, Richard. I'm not sure it's going to catch on in everybody's home, but it's quite oh, yeah. nice there, don't you think, Yeah, man, beautiful, yeah. Yeah, yeah, very good indeed.